All right, uh, welcome back, everyone. We'll begin with Elkana's question. Elkana, you're on the call. Could you please go ahead and ask your question? Yes, please unmute. OK. OK, thank you very much. I, I just want to ask that. So at a time, if God sends someone to us, or God give us a vision or a prophecy, something that is going to happen, why is it that we, if it's about something, why is it that after praying on it for several days, it, it will still happen? Mm, I'm not sure I got your question clearly. You said God gives, you, gives us a prophecy um, or he reveals something, and then we pray about it, and why does it still happen? Is that why you're asking? Is that what yes, you're asking? that after praying on source message not to happen or revelation not to happen, but we 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 by the end of the day we still find out that the something still happen, revelation still happen. Okay, so uh, it's similar to the scenario of uh, Abraham interceding for Sodom and Gomorrah. When there is a cause, then the consequence is there. Sin was there. So even if God wanted to hear Abraham's prayer, he, he should be a God of justice, right? And therefore, the judgment happened. Abraham prayed, but still that judgment happened. So the answer to your question is, um, Elkana, we can pray, but sin has to be dealt with. So from the other side, if the people have dealt with it, I, either if it is sin or some repentance or anything that has to be taken care of, if that is taken care of, then uh, there will be a change in that situation. But if it is not dealt with, even if we pray, the judgment may happen. You got it? Okay, thank you. Yeah, so it, it's not dependent only on one person like that. It may depend on, you know, the people involved as well. As well. Yes. Okay. okay. Any other questions before we proceed to our Yes, question? I want to ask a question. Yes, Julia. Yes. Um, yes, I, I was wondering about the comment you made about the prophetic and the word of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So are the two related or word of knowledge also operates in the prophetic prayer? Okay. So mm -hmm. Juliana is saying... Um, the prophetic and word of knowledge if there is like how are how they relate isn't it like is there a difference between the two am i right yes yes question? okay so uh generally we use the term prophetic as an umbrella term under which come many uh, gifts of the spirit like prophecy word of knowledge, word of wisdom, all these sit under the term prophetic. Okay, Juliana, so the word of knowledge is a gift of the Holy Spirit as per 1 Corinthians 12. So it's a gift of the Holy Spirit, but the word prophetic is just a descriptive term that we use. I hope that answers your question. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, I think we are more or less uh, settled as far as you know the prophetic is concerned. Question? Okay, go ahead. If we don't understand God's will. Okay, if we don't understand God's will, can we, you're saying, can we ask God? Yeah, you can ask God and uh, we have a revealing God, so he will speak. You saw all the passages, right? We read Isaiah 45, 11, Isaiah 42, 9, Isaiah 46, 10. He knows the answers. So you ask him and have the patience to listen when he speaks to us. 
all right so let's move on we were talking about prophetic prayers or intercession protecting people so if we are in leadership we must be prophetic intercessors we must pray for people on the basis of what we hear from the lord hosea 12:13 uh you had read it right hosea 12:13 where we said that god preserved israel through a prophet that word preserved is the fence that i was talking about so how did god protect his people through a prophet what was the ability of the prophet to pray prophetic prayers hear from god and pray okay don't we don't just pray uh whatever we put down time to time there may be certain things on god's heart god will reveal to us and and say okay pray for this pray for the church to be filled with the holy spirit pray for the church to uh be you know move uh, forward as as salt and light pray for the church to arise god is putting that word in our hearts and we must pray that through and when we are praying like that in a prophetic way what is that that is protection preservation that word pres preserved uh, in the hebrew is shamar so god protected his people through a prophet today how does he protect his people through prophecy by revealing his heart or the prophetic he reveals his heart to us and we pray on the basis of that okay so we must remember to do that at all times and that uh, really you know it's such a blessing i remember once um i don't exactly know what had happened i lost something or you know something like that but uh, it was very upsetting for a couple of days um and uh, i was just thinking that god i'm so upset i i lost this uh, i don't know how i i was so careless many things were going through my mind right and then one auntie from church she messaged me just at that moment i was uh, i remember i was walking close to my house and i get this uh, uh, whatsapp message and i read it and uh, she asked me nancy how are you um yesterday when i was praying i could see your face okay during my prayer time and uh, god told me she put three points three things one two three okay i was shocked i was like oh my goodness you know god is speaking to people for us and how specific because that was the time that i needed to hear uh, that god is thinking about me and correct it came from that auntie i never forget her because of that one message it's still there in my you know whatsapp uh but you see in that moment i needed those prayers if she had not prayed uh or you know that what she told me also was very encouraging that god told me these three things for you so encouraged so i was really able to overcome that uh, sense of feeling upset because i thought okay you know god knows my situation god is with me god will help me it was inspiring motivating and encouraging okay so prophecy is for that prophecy is for encouragement the simple gift of prophecy is for encouragement uh, so that's how god uses it so we must hear in that moment what is god saying for whom is he saying something or for the entire church what is he saying pray pray right um and make it a practice even if you're leading a small team of people pray for them and ask god what should i pray for them lord and god will put it on our hearts practice practice to pray because that is what did we say preservation a hedge a fence protection around god's people so that is the importance of prophetic intercession prophetic intercession can also birth one's destiny if we go to the incident you remember uh, zacharias the father of john the baptist okay he was dumb when uh, his son was born and uh, when he came out of his ministry in the temple the baby was given to him and he starts to pray over the child and he makes many words of prophecy over his own son so it's literally it's a prayer 
but he's praying many things about his future and his destiny destiny can you imagine that john the baptist is still a baby so we don't know when you see a baby how can you tell this baby is going to be so and so or something you know great in the kingdom of god but prophetic prophetic prayer the father is praying over the son but the holy spirit is revealing to him the purposes of this baby grow up and do all these mighty things for god so our prophetic prayers can actually help people's destiny from you know to unfold parents pastors leaders you know sometimes we are serving and we see these young people we can kind of tell hey this is what god has in store for this person you know and we are working with them to help them uh, to uh, like equip them shape them guide them but we're also praying for them like paul and timothy and paul met timothy young man doesn't know much about ministry but paul not only did he train timothy but for sure knowing the kind of person that paul is he was praying the destiny of timothy one day this timothy is going to be a leader he's going to be uh, you know a leader of a congregation so god you know give him the grace give him the anointing uh, give him the wisdom so what are we doing we are praying and the destiny of people is actually unfolding upon their lives uh, so parents can do this um leaders can do this even we as friends sometimes we recognize right we our own friends we recognize what the calling of god on their lives are why not pray for them the way god has impressed in our hearts and say god you know open doors for them bless them help them to come out of the difficulties that they are going through this is the intercession that we make for them right heal them pray for them so we are interceding for them and what happens as we are praying god is making the way that destiny is revealed to us now and it will unfold over their lives not just because we are praying but also because they have been obedient so it's also going to take their obedience not just our prayers isn't it <coughs> so in this way god can reveal the purposes ahead of time ahead of time okay and we can pray it through so it releases one's destiny uh finally prophetic prayers they you know praying and proclamation it kind of goes together when we study about the prophet jeremiah god gave him words to speak over the nations and when he spoke over the nations there was a great impact from those prophetic words could somebody read from jeremiah chapter 1 verses 9 and 10 then the lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth and the lord said to me behold i have put my words in your mouth see i have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out the to root out and pull down to destroy and to throw down to build and a and to plant okay wonderful so god is calling the prophet jeremiah for changes in the nations okay so changes in the nations and kingdoms it's quite clear verse 10 he says see i have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms so think about this god is calling the prophet and he's saying you're going to impact the nations and the kingdoms now how to impact how to impact what to use in order to impact yeah the previous previous verse verse 9 it says behold i have put my words in your mouth okay usually when we look at um, cities the kind that we live in near bangalore and recently we are having all these uh, constructions and uh, uh, flyover you know flyover work 
happening on the roads so you see all these big and mighty gadgets huge ones okay and uh, it's amazing how man can come up with um, all these big gadgets to break the building to dig a hole okay and you have uh, huge uh, like huge slabs of of rock they're lifting it up and they're putting it here and there so sometimes i used to wonder you know in order to do these big works construction works we need some huge gadgets god is telling jeremiah i put you over the nations i put you over the kingdoms for big things what big things he says root out pull down destroy throw down build plant but god where are the gadgets where are the gadgets you have put jeremiah over the nations and you want him to do all this build throw down pull down how will he do it unless you give him the tools to do it but verse 9 says i have put my word in your mouth that is the tool that is the gadget how powerful very powerful very very powerful that's all jeremiah needs to do the work that god called him to do the prophetic word the powerful word of god as he speaks over the nations as he speaks over the kingdoms what can he expect he can expect to root out to pull down destroy throw down what the demonic powers the evils that the demonic powers bring things like crime um corruption what else what are all the evils that we see extortion bribery injustice right violence rebellion so many things are there all those things have to be removed right they have to be rooted out they need to be pulled down torn down how speak the word jeremiah and today it's god speaking to us telling us i have put my word in your mouth speak it declare it the prophetic word when we declare the prophetic word what happens in the spiritual realm all these demonic powers will be torn down it's very difficult for our logical brain to understand this but it's a spiritual thing where god will do something in the supernatural realm and things will come down when we make declarations that's the power of declaration yes sure so with that we will conclude for today i request uh, one of us from the class to please pray oh heavenly father thanks for this time to learn lot of things from your words father for the give a good wisdom and make us a great prophesizers and give your gift to prophesy a lot of things that we that we need to do and know our will so father please fill your holiness and we should need to listen your words we should need to hear your words we should need to hear your prophecy father in the name of jesus i pray amen amen Thank you everyone and uh, all the best for your exams